Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and Today I'm making minimalist chain drop earrings inspired by my necklace tutorial that I'll link up in the description below. I am using the Beadalon new line of slimline pliers. I will link up all their tools in the description and also these tungsten carbide jaw hard wire semi flush cutters that can also be used for memory wire. I'm going to clip the stainless steel chain to about three inches. You can make these as long as you want. Then I'm going to take a faceted glass bead with a hole that's large enough for the chain and just slide that chain through the hole. Now we're going to take a surgical steel earring hook and open it up and then we will put on one end of the chain directly on the hook and then grab the other end and slide it on as well. The chain is a little bit fine so it's a little tricky to get on there and we'll take our chain nose pliers and close up the hook so there's no gap and you'll see it sits a little bit off so we're going to twist that hook a little quarter turn so it sits straight ahead and there's the simple chain earrings now if you want to make these earrings with beads with smaller holes just get a couple of pieces of wire an inch should be plenty depending if you're putting one bead or multiple beads and then we're going to take the end with the round nose pliers and twist it around to a small loop and center that loop. Now we will slide on a 10 millimeter hematite bead, clip it to about a quarter of an inch, and then take the round nose pliers, hold the wire and the bead, pull the wire back and around to make a centered loop. And from there, if the loops are a little off, take two flat nose pliers and just twist them so they're at the same angle. And then now we're going to cut our chain. We're going to need four pieces that are the same size. So I'm just putting them on a wire so they're lined up and we're going to clip four pieces of wire. So these can be any length you want. I'm doing about an inch and a half. Just depends on how long you want your earrings to be. And we're just clipping four pieces of the stainless steel chain. So they're all the same size. So from there, we're just going to get our bead and we're going to open up the loop and slide on a chain. And then we'll close up that loop Make sure it's fully closed. We don't want the chain to come off. Flip it around. Open up the loop. And then we'll slide on the other chain. It's a little bit tricky with this small chain. We're just going to slide it right on there and close it up with the chain nose pliers. So now once we have the chain on there, we'll need the hook. So I'm just using these pre-made surgical steel hooks. I'll link them up in the description below. And we're going to slide on the chain, both of the ends, and close up the loop. So it won't come off. And from there, you'll see it sits a little bit off at an angle. So now we're going to adjust it so it's looking like it's straight forward, perpendicular to the hook. And there we have our other simple drop chain earrings. And I'll link up the other tutorial for the necklace in the description below the video. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. 
And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. You can get the templates in my Etsy DIY shop. Be sure to use the coupon code SAVE25 to save 25% when you purchase five or more templates, tutorials, or ebooks in my shop. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.